why you think that we should save this old growth? Oh boy. Uh, well, there's the obvious reasons. Like, uh, you can feel climate change happen in real time when you step off the road down into the grove. It becomes 10 degrees cooler instantly. The way that these trees suck carbon out of the air, the old growth, like this big guy right here, at a rate higher than any new second, third growth ever could. You know, there's those obvious reasons. And then there's all the reasons around healing and, and tradition and history and our ancestors and, and passing things on to future generations too. Well, honestly, when I'm painting in the woods like this, it's a unique experience because I got to look with my whole body. So I feel like I'm kind of reaching out in every direction all the time. You got to be aware of critters and other humans. Um, I try and paint with not just my eyes, but with my ears and my feet on the ground and uh, kind of the tingling in the back of your neck that you get when you're in the woods like this. And all those things get stored in, in the painting. So I guess in that way, maybe the painting is how I feel when I'm out here. So grateful to be here. Uh, grateful to the people that invited me, like Elder Bill Jones, for inviting this residency program to start. Grateful for Jeremy Herndl and Jesse Demers, who kind of were the people that started it. And uh, grateful to the people at camp who've been so supportive and accommodating and made my job a heck of a lot easier. Darcy. One of the first things I always notice when going into a really healthy forest is the mud and the dirt. And just noticing the composition of the soil and the different layers of life that are within that soil. Whether it be the small seeds that have newly dropped from the large trees or just below them, the way the mycelium is setting up to attach to the different roots of those seeds, to the different trees and plants in the area. This tells me a lot about the healthy ecosystem that's there. I don't see that in the farmed forests whenever we go to visit them, whether we drive through them or we're going to forage mushrooms. They just seem a bit dead comparatively. Imagine cutting down all those trees. As you cut them down, the mud starts to wash away. All that really good premium mud that we were talking about starts to wash away. It starts to wash down the hill, farther and farther down. Brings bits of debris from the men that were using the chainsaws, the machines that were being used to haul the trees. All that washes down here. All that destroys this right here. For me, it's a no-brainer. And I know for many people, it's the same. It does not make any sense that we would destroy an ecosystem that has kept us healthy and happy for so long, simply to satisfy the needs of a very few that we don't even know. How is this sustainable? We cannot recreate what we just looked at in the old growth systems. Look what we're doing here. One day, all this 
could catch on fire. And then it would burn all of that. The soil here does not have the depth of nutrition that will feed future development of the kinds of ecosystems that we've seen in the woods. It does not have the same life. It's been beaten, stripped and burned. We're causing this. This isn't something that we are doing. This isn't something that is happening to us.